Hey, so I've been asked to answer question nine from uh, Pearson chapter 4.2. And uh, in this question, you have two point charges, which are 30 centimeters apart, and they're charged by transferring electrons from one point to another. So to sort of illustrate that, we could have uh, a charge there and a charge there. And uh, at the moment, let's just say they're neutral. And then to make them charged, I get an electron from over here and I move it to there. So I move an electron from one point to the other, which means now this has a positive charge on this side and this has a negative charge on this side. And what the question is saying is how many electrons must be transferred so that an attractive force of 1.0 newtons exists? Um, and it's talking about giving your answer. Oh, it's, it's saying to consider only the magnitude of the um, charge on an electron, which is which is pretty typical. Um, something I'm not particularly happy about is the fact that it's got here to use the constant as 9, point, 9 times 10 to the 9 um, for the constant in front of Coulomb's law, and the charge of an electron is given in four significant figures, which, as you know, in year 12, we only have, um, we only have it to three significant figures. But that's okay. We'll just answer it the way they want us to. So if this is the situation that we've got, then every single time that we transfer an electron across, if this was Q1 and this was Q2, for every time we transfer an electron, the charge on this side would be um, N times the charge of an electron, or the elementary charge, sorry, and on this side, the charge would be N or negative N times um, one of the, uh, an elementary charge. Um, so if this is what it looks like, then we can put that in our formula for Coulomb's law. That looks like, oops, uh, K, Q1, Q2 over R squared. And then we can sub in those values. So now I've got K, N, Q, E. Um, I'm just going to ignore the negative signs in this case because I'm looking for the magnitude of that force anyway. Um, then another Q, E, and that divided by R squared. And... Once I've got that, I can just put down that down to be, let's get rid of that. Uh, what is it? 9 times 10 to the 9 times n squared times q e squared and divide that by uh, r squared. And r squared being 0 0.3 squared. Um, now, then I can just rearrange this equation. Uh, sorry, I already know what f is, right? So F is 1. So when I rearrange that to get N squared by itself, I end up with 0 0.3 squared. Divide that by 9 times 10 to the 9 times 1.602 times 10 to the negative 19 squared. Um, that looks pretty good. And then if I put that in my calculator, which I have done already earlier, I got 3.8965 times 10 to the 26. So N being the number of electrons. So the square root of that ends up being 1.97 times 10 to the 13 electrons. And I think the difficulty in this question would be actually just coming up with um, with this bit here, is getting what it says in the question and saying, okay, well, if I'm if I'm building up charge by transferring electron across, then it will be um, n times that uh, charge on this side and n times the charge on this side, which gives us this n squared value. And that might be where a few people have been slipping up. And there we go.